Hey crafty people, it's Tasha here with my first video for Pear Blossom Press. I don't know about you, but I am deep into Christmas card creating and this video is no exception. These are the products that I'll be using today, but I'll have a supplies list down in the description box. I'm starting with my background as it's going to need some time to dry. This is an A2 panel of Blueberry Bliss cardstock from Heffy Doodle and I'm applying this Simon Says Stamp stencil, securing it from behind with some mint tape so that I can have that design right the way across my entire panel. I'm starting with Grape Crush and blending this over the whole panel. I prefer to use these domed foam applicators to get maximum ink on as quickly as possible and I'm pouncing the ink over any particularly fiddly or sharp parts of the stencil. Now I'm darkening the edges of that stencil design with Queen for a day just for some variation and then when I peel that stencil back you can see the tone on tone finish those purples have on the blue cardstock. To add a bit more drama to the edges of the panel I'm going straight in with Queen for a day. Then to soften the blend off I'll go back in with a little more of that grape crush. You could leave it like this or if you're a little bit extra like me, then you can add some metallic paint splatters. To get some bigger drops first of all, I tapped the brush quite firmly above the panel. Then for some finer splatter, I added a bit of paint on an old card and just flicked the brush off the edge. Now leave that to dry somewhere flat. I'm going to use a Pear Blossom Press One Light today along with this super cute interactive card stamp set and this adorable reindeer die from Simon Says Stamp. Maybe you can see where I'm going with this one now. I'm cutting the reindeer from a panel of Nina 80 pound along with some Heffy Doodle Huckleberry cardstock. I'm going to use the negative piece to slot into my white panel so that that one light is hidden. So this is a three pack of lights and as you can see they come attached but you just fold to break it apart, it's really easy. That little orange bit on the edge is the light itself and I want to make sure that it's sitting directly behind his nose. I want to cut down the white panel but before I do, I need to check where my one light is going to sit to make sure that I leave the panel large enough to completely cover the light and the battery. Then I can see exactly where to position this postage stamp die from Waffle Flower. I've slotted that blue piece in place and then I'll hold it there with some mint tape whilst I secure it from behind and then I can just gently peel that mint tape up. For his eyes, I can just secure a piece of Oreo Crunch cardstock behind. I don't want to cover the nose because that's where the light's going to be and I have got a special plan for that. Back to the light. I've got one of the batteries out of the pack and you can see that one side is really smooth with some writing etched in it and a plus sign. I'm just going to slot it in, plus side up and it's really that simple. Add in strong double sided adhesive to the back as that's how I will eventually secure it to that blue card panel and I'm adding a little strip onto the battery housing. I know it's definitely not going to affect the working of the light in any way here and then that's just going to help me keep my light in place behind my Rudolph before I secure it to the main panel. I always find the most stressful part of these cards is making sure I have the press here stamped in the right place. I want to stamp it on before the light's secured but then I'm really tied in as to where it should be. So I was super happy when I saw that this little circle die that's going to fit the smallest stamp perfectly. I'm peeling back the release tape behind my Rudolph to adhere my one light, lining it up with his nose and checking that it's all working as I want it to before I add the foam tape. 
This is foam tape from Pear Blossom Press and it is fantastic. It's thicker than normal so you don't need to double it up. It's already deep enough to work perfectly with all of Amanda's lights. It's super sticky but you get a 30 minute window to reposition it re before it really locks in and then it's not going anywhere. Now that's all finalised, I can add a little dot of glue directly over the button and adhere my little circle in place. Now I know it's got perfect placement and that just, it just takes all of the stress out of it for me. These really couldn't be any easier. All of the lights that Amanda's designed are super easy to work with, but these one lights, you really can't go wrong. Now for my super secret idea for covering that nose. I've got these red heart embellishments and I'm adding one directly over Rudolph's nose. You'll still see the light shining through because it's translucent. Some strategically placed dots of glue above and below the nose will hold it in place but you need to give it plenty of time to dry before you do anything else because we really don't want that nose slipping out of place. How cute does that postage stamp look against the blue background? Oh, I love it. For my sentiment, I'd pre-cut this one from Simon Says Stamp. It's got a Nina shadow with a glossy black word, but I stacked that on a couple of white die cuts for some dimension. Once I've figured out how this is all going to sit, I can add liquid glue to the parts which will sit on my light panel and add more of that foam tape under the rest to secure and support it. Another thing I love about this tape is it's so easy to peel the release off and now it can be secured to my background panel and I love that crisp white against the blue. One more test of the light to make sure everything works and then we can just let that adhesive really bond. I added some black gems to finish it off and here is my finished card. I just know that my recipient will get a kick out of it and it really was so simple and easy to make, although I probably won't mention that to them. <laughs> Amanda has an awesome Black Friday deal on these one lights so I'll leave links for that in the description below. If you are hesitant to try any of Pear Blossom Press's lights then Honestly, the one lights are the perfect place to start. Thank you for spending this time with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. I'll be back with you next month, but in the meantime, you can check out my own channel for more inspiration. Have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Stay crafty. Bye.